Welcome to the history of the Disney parks. This episode, we're doing the Little Mermaid ride, Ariel's undersea adventure. The Little Mermaid is a huge part of the Walt Disney Company. Ariel first debuted on November 14, 1989. This was the first film to start of an era of box office hit after box office hit, also known as the Disney Renaissance. Just like a lot of other classic animated films from Disney, Ariel would soon get her own ride at one of the Disney parks. Or at least, they thought she would. A dark ride featuring The Little Mermaid was supposed to open at Disneyland Paris and the Magic Kingdom in the early to mid-90s. Early plans for Hong Kong Disneyland also included this ride. The idea later got scrapped. Although the Imagineers even went as far as creating a video and concept of what the ride was going to be like, it still got shelved. As you can see, it's very different from the one we have now at Disney's California Adventure and at the Magic Kingdom. Once the idea of the ride was shelved, the Imagineers would not come back to it till 14 years later. Meanwhile, Disney unveils a new park at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim. The park is called Disney's California Adventure Park. This is also the last Disney theme park to be built here in the United States. It didn't take long for Disney to realize their second park at the Disneyland Resort wasn't doing nearly as good as they hoped for. The park needed big changes. In 2007, Disney announced that Disney's California Adventure Park will be getting over a billion dollars for expansion and renovation. This big redesign of Disney's California Adventure Park would open up in phases. Phase 1 would include Toy Story Mania, World of Color, and Ariel's Undersea Adventure. Construction on Phase 1 began December 2007. The Little Mermaid ride would be the last attraction to open for Phase 1. Before building the Little Mermaid ride, Disney had to tear down the theater hosting Golden Dreams, starring Whoopi Goldberg. After the theater was demolished, Disney then constructed the attraction's building. The Little Mermaid is an Omnimover ride, like the Haunted Mansion and the Seas with Nemo and Friends. The ride vehicle almost looks identical to the one to Nemo and Friends at Epcot.
This ride is considered to be the next generation of dark rides for Disney. You can tell the difference from The Little Mermaid to Peter Pan and Snow White's Scary Adventures. The ride is also known for its audio animatronics. The characters include Ariel, Prince Eric, King Triton, Sebastian, Flounder, and Ursula. Scuttle narrates the story of the ride for you. The Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure opened on June 3rd, 2011. Now switching coasts, we move on to Walt Disney World. The Magic Kingdom is also receiving some expansion, and the Little Mermaid will be coming to the park as well. Just like Disney's California Adventure, the Fantasyland project opened up in phases. The Little Mermaid was included in the second phase. Besides the waiting area, the facade, and slight name change, the two rides are basically a clone. In Disney World, the ride isn't called The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Undersea Adventure. It's called Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid attraction opened on December 6, 2012. Disney's California Adventure and the Magic Kingdom are the only two parks in the world that have this beautiful next generation Disney dark ride. This concludes this episode of History of the Disney Parks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Looking far under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we're devoting full time to floating under the sea. <laughs> Now we're all the 